Okay, we're going to do a demonstration today of the Mitsui 818 hand feed surface grinder. Uh, at the moment, I've just got it set up here on the spindle. I don't know how well you can see that, but you see I'm resting right on there, and I'm going to go ahead and start it. And you can see that it's, that's running dead nuts there. Okay, so I'm going to take this off, and uh, I'm going to restart the video, uh, just showing you the overall machine. Okay, so here we have the Mitsui uh, 818 hand feed surface grinder. We have uh, Aniline Mini Wizard uh, readout, digital readout on the up and down or the vertical. We have a fine pole, fine division magnet here. That's clamped down on there real nice. And then your D-mag. Uh, Crossfeed has a new screw and nut in there, so we've, there's no backlash at all. Here's your longitudinal table, got a little lock under here. Uh, the machine is just sitting on wood, it's not level, um, but as you can see, it's, it moves fine, very fine. Uh, it's because it's not level. So you would basically work this machine back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We have a uh, automatic uh, lubrication on the side here, uh, a pump that automatically lubricates the machine. Uh, it's currently wired for 220, 230 volts DC, I mean AC, excuse me, three phase. And um, I guess that's about it. We showed you the spindle earlier. Uh, it's running out, uh, it's not running out at all, it runs dead nuts or uh, what else can I tell you? Here's your digital readout. Again, your cross. And the longitudinal table. Also has a new cable underneath there. This is a ball bearing table. It will be shipped with the balls uh, removed, with the tracks removed, or something underneath the table that will take the, the weight off of them. Uh, this uh, steel cable here that uh, we use to move the table back and forth is uh, brand new. We just put a new one on it because the old one was uh, damaged. And there you have it. That's the uh, Mitsui 818 hand feed surface grinder. Thank you.